He's decided to join us. We can go and get started. You waited on me. No, of course not. You missed everything. <laughs> okay, so what we're here for, the exciting news for folks in my profession, and should be for you if you care about your final grade. I'm about to show you a photo, long exposure photo, that I took from my roof two weeks ago. The next is the same photo I took just last night. Drum roll, Wesley. Thank you, Wesley. Notice anything different? A new one. Exactly. A new star. It's been given the name Eudora, which is Greek for good gift, if that's interesting to you. Now, the North Star was famous for a long time by being the brightest star in the sky, but not any longer. The North Star got a demotion. Eudora is the brightest. So how does this happen? How does a new star just appear? Well, it's actually not a new star. It's, it's a very, very old star. It just happens to be very, very far away. In fact, NASA released a report just this morning saying that this star is 4.1 light years away, a measly 24 trillion miles, which means this star is the closest to us besides our sun. Which means that 41,000 years ago, out in space, gravity began pulling hydrogen gas in on itself, compressing it more and more, tighter and tighter, with so much energy and so much heat, until one day it couldn't take it anymore and it just exploded, sending gas and space everywhere. But that gravity that once held it all together remained with some of the heat and some of the gas to form this star, a new star, Eudora. Brittany has a question? It, it better be from the last five minutes, Brittany. It is, it okay. is. It just could be a very stupid question. Always a possibility. Um, so if this star has been around for so long, how are we just now finding out about it? Okay, so. When this star is formed, its light begins a journey through space. And though nothing travels faster than light, it still has a very long way to go past other stars, other solar systems. Jupiter sees it before we do. For centuries, man navigated the globe based on these stars. Ships sailed by them. Expeditions were won or lost based on their visibility. And other cultures, they saw a new star as a signal that a new king had been born, if you believe that sort of thing. So you have to wonder, if Eudora had revealed itself earlier, how things might have been different. But it didn't. It revealed itself in good time, so that my son, our baby boy, when he's born, he'll be born under a new sky. This will be his sky with a new brightest star. He plays in the NFL, middle linebacker, and that's how I retire. Yeah, but he's not going to be able to look down because he's going to have one of those necks that's like out to here. I'm very cool with that. Yes. Wow. Doctor's appointment tomorrow, 10.30, right? Yeah. Yeah, were you able to get out of class? Yeah, no problem. Cool. Yeah, I just... I haven't been feeling him kick as much. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna get your picture taken tomorrow. 
Oh, uh, speaking of, my mom dropped this off. Hmm. Yeah, she wants it back. <laughs> Just to monogram it when we pick out a name. Nice. Uh, speaking of names, you know, they named that new star. Oh, yeah? Eudora. Ugh. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Hard pass on that one. Uh, it means good gift. Here, make sure everything looks okay. He's going as a skeleton for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> um, doctor, do you see something? Um, yeah, I'm just really having a a difficult time seeing. Seeing what? It. Uh, I'm gonna um, step out just for a minute, and um, we'll talk about some things in just a second. I'll okay. be right back. I, I mean, is something not okay, or what does he mean? It's, he's going It's fine. It's fine. I'll I'll go talk to him. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's up. Unfortunately, I uh, was not able to see any heart activity at all. What does that, what does that mean? <laughs> it means the heart has stopped beating. That's not, no, I need you to... Rebecca, it's nothing that you have done or that Paul has done. This can't be real. This is not... There's several things we need it's to talk about okay. before we go. No! We're not, go we, we're not going anywhere. Please check again. Please. I'm so very sorry.
Next. Rebecca? Hey there, it's Rebecca. So sorry to miss you. Please just leave me a short message and I will try to get back to you. upset 
over what can only be described as a mass social migration of people from all over the country into their little town of Oak Ridge. While some local business owners are trying to make the most of it, many residents there are protesting these visitors. The reason for this migration is something that is still unverified. We're working to get confirmation on just why these people have come there. On the line now, we have Professor of Sociology from Princeton, Dr. Wes Miley. And Dr. Miley, thank you so much for joining us. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like all we've got left are vans. Oh, oh, and we have the one tiny little smart car if you'd prefer that. A van will be fine, thank you. Okay, all right. So, where are you going? West. West? Yeah. Well, that's specific. <laughs> so, what are you going out west for? I'm looking for someone. Did you lose them? <laughs> yes. Um, well, um, West, you know, you're not the only one. We've been busy, that's why we've only got the van and the one smart car, on account of all the other people who've already been in. So, um, are you going to Oregon? Oak Ridge. I don't know where I'm going. Well, how do you know how to get somewhere if you don't know where it is? I'm following a star. You are following a star? Yes. And a sort of gut feeling. Okay. There's an atlas in the glove box of that van, and I'm sure I could probably get you a GPS and... Thank you. Is there anything else? No, no. Here's the key. Just be sure to fill it up with gas before you return it to one of our 12,000 nationwide caravan locations. You have a nice day. I'm sorry, sir, your car's declined. Could you try one more time, please? I've tried like four times. Could you try one more? Okay. Good morning. Hi. How are you, buddy? I need some cash. I'm hoping you could help me out. Yeah. Got clothes, bag, laptop, phone. What can you give me? Can't use the clothes. Um, could use the bag. Oh. I'll go three fifty. It's me. Thanks for keeping your phone charged. At least I know you're okay. This is a different number. You won't be able to reach me. Uh, but... Remember Lake Martin, our first anniversary? You brought me that telescope. You said you wanted to get it for the wedding, but couldn't. We sat on the dock looking at stars all night. And you 
pretended to be interested. All night. I've, um, calling you from a payphone because I'm losing my mind because I am following a star to find you. Because I don't know where you are. Because you left. Because I woke up and you were gone. And I... I think we can be okay. But I don't know if I can forgive this. Who leaves? Who leaves? You're not there. Hi, hello? Excuse me? Hi, yes, uh, well, welcome to First National. How can I help you? Yes, hi. I received a letter on my van? Yes, uh, Dr. Ivy? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna have a seat? Uh, we'll send you up shortly, okay? Okay. this far. A long way. And you see, I am interested in where it is you are going. What it is you've come all this way for. I'm sorry. What is exactly you do? Oh, not important. Beside the point. No, what I want is, it should not interest you. No, your interest should be in how I can help you. Because I think what we want is the same thing. Answers, Paul. Isn't that right? How did you find me? Who put that note in my car? Oh, I've been following you for some time. And those like you. Those who speak with stars, sir, are not a common occurrence. But you're not the only one, though. Not the only one. Where do you think I'm going? <laughs> I'd be surprised if you knew. Isn't that right? You are probably aware of what's been happening in this part of our country. 
people are worried. And frightened citizens, if viewed properly, make for surprising opportunities. What do you want? I'm a man who, who views things properly. I want to know what it is you find when you get to where you're going. I'm looking for my wife. That's what I want to find where I'm going. I hope you do. And if so, I want to know. And if not, if instead you, you find something else entirely, I would very much like to know that as well. And for that answer, I, I want to help you get to where it is you are. There are some like-minded people here who I would like you to meet. People like you. Wandering people. Are you going to murder me out here? Yes. What? Keep this your eyes closed. This is how I go. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. okay I'm going to take this off. Don't it's move. so bright. I'm on this side. Don't breathe. All right. Hang on. Here's your glasses. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Open them. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, Rebecca. It's perfect. Yeah? Yes, it's the one I want. Uh, I really wanted to get this. I think they're wedding present. I couldn't. No. No. Thank you so much. Glad to have it now. I didn't even want it. Sure. So this one is
Can I help you, gentlemen? Wait, please. We've come a long way. We're exhausted. We saw the star. We felt it. Can we see the baby? Cheers.
Today's going to be a little bit different. Today is not about space or stars or planets or things unknown. It's about things that are known. Something new I now know. And I just can't not tell you guys. So I'll tell you with this story. Some ancient cultures believe that a new star appears to mark the birth of a king. 